Hey guys, how is everyone doing today? So this episode, my cousin and I are going to be hiking Mount Batur, which is a active volcano in Bali. We tried to research and see if we could do the hike ourselves. However, because of the terrain and some other issues, they do not recommend that you hike by yourself. So we are doing a guided tour so we're doing a sunrise hike which means we are leaving here at 1 a.m and we're gonna get there at 3 30 and then hopefully get up there and see some beautiful views and hopefully it's not cloudy because <laughs> i would really like to take some nice videos and some nice shots and if you haven't seen my last episode please check it out it's such a cool experience we went to a hindu temple and i keep i don't know how to pronounce name but roughly it's titra and pool and it's a super famous temple it's beautiful we got to witness a lot of um like an active ceremony and people praying so check that out it was pretty cool and yeah we will see you guys in a bit My guy, ready to go. <laughs> so we just made it to the base where we're meeting everyone and then I think we're going to head to Hot Spring first and then probably start the climb. No idea. Um, the elevation is obviously much higher here, so it's a lot colder. Um, so I'm wearing pants and a sweater right now. But yeah. Hey guys. In Mali, we had we have a few mountains like two falls in it. So bright and beautiful. Okay, so we made it to the top of the mountain and it's so pretty. I wish there weren't that many clouds because we could probably see more of everything, but we can still see a majority of everything. This goes like straight down, so we literally have like, <laughs> I have to be careful so I don't fall. But yeah. Hey. Look how cute, guys. He looks in his little jumper. Oh, so cute. Levi's. <laughs> Levi's special. Levi's special. Vintage. <laughs> Off the rack. Off the rack. Anyways, um, we're going to just sit here and enjoy the rest of the sunset. And then I might journal for a little bit. And then we'll head back down. You know, like this, yeah? This is open from here. Wow. It's very sweet. Inside. It looks like le lychee. No, no. That's so cool. This doesn't look uh, like lychee. It's not like lychee? No. Rambutan is the same like lychee. Try. How is it, Tuan? Uh, What's your review? If you on the back, like this, yeah. we'll be sick inside. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I lose <listen. laughs> uh, There's two. It's actually pretty good. I'm happy you told us how to eat it. Because <laughs> I tried to just bite it. I was like, ah. <laughs> and it did not work. Hopefully not. <laughs> so, Anthony decided to wear his Converse to, to this. <laughs> like, probably not the best. That's so beautiful. Yeah. This is what I live for, folks.
explain what the incense is for? I see this one is to make more smoke come out. Yeah, I just blow the incense here and they got more smoke come out. Oh, I got a facial like that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You want to try? So hot. Yeah, I yeah, just blow the incense on the steam there and then there's more smoke came out. Wow. Yeah. Because this volcano is still inactive. Yeah. So you can try, you can feel by your hand. That's so nice. Yeah. The steam like a sauna. It is like a sauna. We have a natural <laughs> sauna here. So cool. Okay. Chili. Oh, the sun almost coming up. Almost coming up. Yeah, we can see on the other side as well. Okay. Uh -huh. But so, hypothetically, if this volcano were to erupt, does it erupt from the sun? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony, I don't know why you're cold. manifesting because that. Because, like right? this, <laughs> according to last famous last word. So, this volcano is, uh, it's been erupted uh, many times, yeah? So, wow. the, the first one, it was erupted from 1804, and the last one erupted on 2000. So, between 1804 and 2000, this volcano has been uh, erupted like many times, and more than 20 times. Wow. So the last it up to like on the Well, let's not be the next one. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Hi. Oh, you have banana. Banana. Aww. Sauna monkey. Sauna monkey. No. <laughs> He's Ooh. so cute. Hi, buddy. Oh, Look at this guy. <laughs> Hi. Hey, hey, hey. He's so cute. I think that would be. Look at his torso. Such a nice torso. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. So, we just got back from the. Mountain, volcano, whatever. <laughs> um, what did you think of it? It was sick. The walk up was a bit of a nightmare. It was completely in the dark, so we just had flashlights. Yeah. And it went on forever and ever. When they said we were halfway, I was like, you got joking. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. Um, but we got to kind of like almost the top and then watch the sun rise a bit and then we went to the very top just as it was peeking up through the clouds so it was really beautiful yeah it was amazing mm -hmm. and i'm gonna like my experience when like the old lady whatever that told me the, the old water. lady yeah. so she woman. no she was amazing because she actually helped me climb like the rest of the way to the top and I felt like I had such a deep reflection on that of how we need to support each other more and we need to like help each other out and like we're not in this solely by ourselves, we're in this together. And I felt stronger because she was like holding my hand. Yeah, that was really cute. Like, yeah. And it really helped um, having that like steady hand. Yeah. And she was like holding a basket full of like water and like food and, and holding Leisha's hand and like as if it was nothing, just like yeah. tracking this massive. Yeah, it was incline. just like such a inspirational thing that you really only get when you do these things like traveling. That's why I love it. That's why I do what I do. But. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, to and it was so sick that like once the sun had like finally come up, all of a sudden all these monkeys just appeared out of nowhere. They started scaling up the mountain uh, because all the guides brought food with them, like bananas and sandwiches or whatever. So and the monkeys know that, so they were giving out bananas and stuff to them, and like whole families were showing up. So it was so cute to be greeted with all those monkeys at the end. That was so cute. Yeah, they were so cute and less aggressive than the ones at the monkey forest yeah these mountain monkeys they're definitely more chill which is understandable like monkey forests and monkeys are like surrounded by people all the time all it feels like yeah and also sure. they're like kind of in the city like there's a road that goes kind of right through 
part of the forest, so I can imagine they might be agitated or annoyed with... And there's the just forest. too many, like they're all condensed in a tiny space, like how do you expect them not to be aggressive with you? Yeah. Everywhere you look there's a human? I would hate that. Yeah, and the ones in the mountain, like they can, they come up to grab the food from the hike and then they go back to just chilling, I guess, in the mountain, so yeah. there's probably more peace for them there. Look, we look like such a cute little couple. By the way, guys, everyone here this entire time has asked if we're dating, we're boyfriend, girlfriend, married. Like, it's, I'm, and I'm like, cousin, cousin. <laughs> and they're like, Ooh. It's funny, it's like, we, we met these um, queer women at the top of the hike, and we were talking about our queer experiences, and I told them that in cultures like this, where queerness like isn't really acknowledged yeah they like don't know what queer people are like and also whenever you're in a different culture with a different language or whatever the queerness is kind of hard to notice probably versus in your own culture like the big gay accent or whatever people like to call it is a lot more evident so yeah i'm like straight positive the here. gay accent that's a yeah. thing oh my god you can hear it right now well yeah 100 percent. but I, <laughs> I didn't know gay accent was a thing oh yeah queer men like a lot of queer men have this oh wild it's jokes because like stupid straight people would be like oh they put it on because they're pretending to be like a girl and it's like i'm not oh pretending to be nobody God. i am just being like y'all done this <laughs> anyway that's a sign <laughs> but yeah no one's talking my queerness here so no one's screaming faggot at me like they do in toronto so that's been a, a nice change but i kind of miss it no yeah <laughs> so anyways Thanks for watching this episode, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Like, actually, it helps more to subscribe than to like or comment. Um, it does support it, but subscribing to the channel is, like, gold. So if you can do that, that would be great. And then let us know in the comments if you want any more um, videos with me and Anthony doing talks like this. I feel like it's more interactive. I like it. I don't know if you like that. I like it. Okay, good. I think. Good. <laughs> yeah, we're just, you know, two married couple yeah, it's on, on our honeymoon, honeymoon talking about our yeah. honeymoon experience. The wedding was great. The wedding, the wedding was amazing. Yeah, it was so good. I so wish you guys could have been there. Yeah. Okay, thanks guys. See you guys next week.